I am comfortable and familiar in the marine realm. I'm comfortable around packs of reef sharks. I'm comfortable being feet away from bronze whaler sharks as they tear into sardine bait balls. I'm comfortable under Antarctic ice with leopard seals. I'm not that comfortable at 19,000 feet. If there's one thing I've learned, that you can neither talk, or breathe, or walk, but not do all things at once. And I'm certainly not super comfortable deep in an Amazonian rainforest. This is probably gonna be the most difficult thing I've ever done in my life, but it might also be the most worthwhile thing. Most of the media around the Amazon is focused on the terrestrial realm. And I thought, hmm, here we have an aquatic wonderland, an aquatic spider web of, you know, hundreds of large rivers and thousands of tributaries and tens of thousands of streams the size of Australia. We know that the Amazon forests are on fire, but the rivers are also burning in a different way. Whether it's overfishing or deforestation or climate change or the building of dams or, you know, mercury pollution. I knew that the aquatic biodiversity was a threat, but I didn't realize how little time we have left to actually protect and safeguard it. So there's a real sense of urgency in me now to tell this story and to really make a difference. My name is Thomas Peshak. I'm a National Geographic photographer and explorer. And I'm spending 300 and 96 days in the Amazon Basin to explore its aquatic underworlds.